So in my work, I developed this concept of what it is to be an initiatress because I was struggling in my relationship with Andrew. I had a lot of conditioning that Andrew should be the man in the relationship. He should be more evolved than me. He should be more advanced than me. And if he wasn't, I got really frustrated with him and I felt like lecturing him, criticizing him. I judged him a lot. And I also saw in a lot of the women I was working with this same pattern, uh, specifically in heterosexual relationships with women and their male partners, especially their long-term male partners. And so I dug a little bit deeper. I was like, where does this, like, why am I doing this? And yes, I witnessed this growing up, but what's the deeper reason? One of the main things about living under patriarchy is that your destiny is largely shaped and controlled by a man or the men in power in some way, shape, or form. And so there's a huge level of conditioning inside of me and in many, many, many women. In fact, I'm going to say all women because we've all been through patriarchy that says you have to wait for someone to give you permission to do the things that you want to do. Whether you're heterosexual, whether you're queer, whether you're gay, it affects all of us and tells us in this deep, deep, deep way that you don't deserve to own your power until someone tells you it's okay or until someone's done it first. And so what I see is so many women waiting around saying, well, why hasn't he done it first? Why isn't he more spiritual? Why doesn't he meditate more? Why doesn't he have more direction? Why isn't he more into his career? Or they're also subtly waiting in their own careers, or maybe you're subtly waiting in your creativity, is because if you are waiting for anyone to give you the permission or give you the green light to embody your full power, your truth, your essence, of course you're gonna hate them if they're not who you think they should be. And there becomes this underlying bitterness and resentment towards the rest of the world for not giving you the permission to do what you want. I feel that women have lost their rightful understanding of themselves as initiatresses. It's okay to fully embody your full truth. You don't have to wait for a man in your life or any of the men in your life to tell you it's okay. If you want more creativity in your life and in your partnership and around you, then embody your creativity. If you want more spirituality in your relationship, then embody your own spirituality. If you want more communication in your relationship, then work on your communication and really look for anywhere where you subtly hold yourself back and point your finger at the people around you saying, well, they're not doing it and I need to change them first. Now, this doesn't mean that you will tolerate the relationship for the rest of your life if it's not working for you. It doesn't mean that if nobody around you is changing or meeting you, that you'll be satisfied just by embodying your truth. Being an initiatress really is about not waiting, not waiting, not waiting, not waiting for anyone to give you permission. If you're waiting around for a man to lead you, then you might be waiting forever. If you look right now, at who is filling university classes, who is filling yoga classes, who is filling meditation classes, who is really stepping up to lead. There are so many women claiming their power right now. And I do believe that it is necessary for us to co-create the world with equally powerful men. And yet sitting around and being told or believing and internalizing the belief as a woman that you need a man to lead you spiritually, sexually, creatively, or give you any kind of permission is a recipe for disaster. So I'm gonna be talking to you more and more about what an initiatress is. We'll be doing more practices here on the vlog that can show you how to really embody this. What would it look like if you didn't wait for anyone else to lead the way? What would it look like if you didn't wait for him to get it, for her to get it, for anybody to get it before you gave yourself the full permission to embody your truth? I think it's sexier. I think it makes you more alive. It actually gets you more of what you want and it is definitely a more powerful way to live. So if you want to stay connected and learn more about being an initiatress, then head on over to laylamartin.com, sign up with your email address, and you can also get my book, Wild Woman in the Bedroom, which has loads of really amazing practices as well. Come on, come on.